www.ghostbusinessradio.com. Well, we're in the studio today, and we have Jenna Zakchewski. Very good. You got it right, right? Mm-hmm. I got okay. it right. Huh? <laughs> so, I mean, we have all these pictures around of you wrestling. You don't seem like the heavy-duty wrestler type. You look very petite and pretty, and... But you're a wrestler. You're mean underneath, huh? Mm. <laughs> well, you're eight, and how old have you? How long have you been wrestling now? Like five years, most by that. Yeah. Five years since you were practically a baby. No, you not don't? really. <laughs> so I was like three. Wow. Wow. Now I understand you come from a wrestling family. Yep, with five brothers. Wow, and all mm-hmm. of them wrestle. Um, not all of them, but one of my brothers do. Okay. And who's better at wrestling, him or you? Probably say him. Oh, okay. (laughs) I thought for sure you were going to say you. (laughs) No. (laughs) Not yet? Not yet. As you get bigger, you'll take him down, right? (laughs) Perhaps. Probably. I think so, yeah. So you've had a lot of success wrestling, right? Yep. And you've got support. This is your mom. (laughs) <laughs> Jenny, right? Yes. So what made you want to get into wrestling? What, how'd you start? Well, when I was three years old, I saw I had to go to a wrestling tournament with my brother. So I went up to my dad. I'm like, Dad, I, this is really, really cool. Can I try sometime? And then my mom just went up to said to my dad, no, she is not doing that. She's only doing girly sports. And I'm like, I want to do it, I want to do it. And then look after now. I'm already doing it, and she really likes it. I see that. She supports you. <laughs> yeah. That's great. And you do very, very well. There's medals all over the place, and this giant trophy, and a belt. My goodness. Thank you. Wow. Now, were you concerned when she started wrestling, your little... Oh, of course. (laughs) Yes. Um, She's my only girl. She's got older brothers, and I was very concerned after watching them get turned into pretzels. Uh, I wanted her to be my little kind of doll. Right. (laughs) Right. (laughs) Yeah. Honestly, now, though, sitting on the sidelines, I, I probably enjoy watching her more than I do my sons, just because she is a girl, and I see her... Out there, and I know that what she's learning through the process of wrestling is going to carry with her through all stages of her life. So, right. Plus, she's doing something that not a lot of girls do. Yeah. So, I mean, just to see her excel in something like that's got to be, you know, exciting. Absolutely. Yeah, raising the bar for all all the girls out there. <laughs> yeah. At the same time, being very girly too, doing mm-hmm. the cheerleading and modeling. How do you how do you do that? Where you you do something that's Mostly boy oriented, and then you do something that's very girl oriented. How do you keep that? You know, I have no idea. It's <laughs> just what day of the week it is, right? Yep, change it's clothes and we're going years. here. Change clothes, we're going it's like, there. It's like you go there, and then after a while, you just go there, right? Go there, and then you go there. And now you're doing film school too, I understand, right? Yep, so you're making your own films, you're yep. s- starring in the films. Mm-hmm. And what kind of films do you like to make? I like to like direct them. Like you tell them where you want it, how you do it. Okay. And do you like to make comedies or scary stuff? Or? I would probably say like scary. Okay. I made one that was a little scary. But I forgot the name of that one. <laughs> I understand you made one about bullying, is that right? Yes. And what gave you that idea? To tell kids, everybody out there, do never ever be rude to someone or bully. Just be yourself and treat people who you want to, what you want to be treated. Wow. You have some very grown up ways of looking at things. Thank you. Your mom was telling me about um, some of your wrestling matches and, and how you at the end of them, you shake everybody's hand, and you're always very nice. You don't trash talk, any of that. How, how do you keep from doing that? I'm sure other people must. Yeah, like, 
I'm just like a nice girl. I don't like to be rude to people and go like this. Hi, you're a loser. And I'm just fine if I lose. You come what you come in. Very nice. That's good sportsmanship. Absolutely. Thank you. Not a lot of people are, are that good. I, I implore that. That's great. She always shakes everybody's hand, and more times than not, she's also given them a hug. Wow. Mm. Whether she's won or lost. You. <laughs> <laughs> so, of all of this stuff, which one is your favorite? I would probably say the N the highway one. Okay. Because when I got, a, I got a concussion there, but that's not about the whole story. I would just say because I was really, really mad that I got a concussion. And I went home, and my mom opened it, and I had to go to bed. So my mom went like, whoa, honey, did you look at this one? I'm like, no. And it was like way bigger than my other ones because I liked it because it was like way, way bigger. <laughs> <laughs> so does that mean this is your favorite trophy because it's way, way bigger? Probably yes. <laughs> well, I don't blame you. I love the blue. That's my yeah. favorite. I like that color. Yeah. So you're a cheerleader as well? Yes. And are you in a cheerleading school or you're cheerleading in your school? I'm cheerleading like in my school. Like in your school, okay. I cheer my The football boy. team. Yeah, the boys and... on. <laughs> <laughs> my school on. Okay. And what uh, what position? Are you like a flyer or? I'm a flyer and that's probably all I am is basically a flyer. That's a big job. That's a very big job. Are you scared ever when you're flying through the air? Nope. Nope, you're not scared of much of anything, are you? Probably no. <laughs> <laughs> Take that answer as a no. Okay. <laughs> so were any of the tricks harder to learn than others? Well, I would say when you you first try it, yes. But when you first get it and get it, it gets even easier because you know them mm -hmm. and then you just know them. Okay. How long did it take before you could hold your leg all the way up over your head? Say six. Maybe. Really? I don't think I could ever do it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it would kind of scare me just being thrown. And you got to... You have to trust well, the other little be girls. Like, well, they'll probably be like a girl behind you, just protect you like that. And there'll be like two girls holding you if you fall. Mm -hmm. They'll be holding I don't think there's any girl going to stand behind me when they throw me in here. <laughs> I got to tell you that. they will be like. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's, I see them throw, throw, throw the girls up there, and that's scary. Yes, it is scary. Mm -hmm. She practices in the pool. Mm, yeah, I have to climb place. my mother's and my dad's shoulder and I jump, like make a huge split in the air. Mm. That's a good place to practice. <laughs> and what about the pyramid? They do the pyramid too? Um, How high do you go on the pyramid? They don't do those anymore. Yeah, no, they don't do, do those? Them. Probably too many people got hurt. Yeah. They do um, mounts, but they don't do the pyramid one anymore because that one's just too dangerous, especially at her level. They sure. don't have enough mats right, right. for them in, uh, you know, on the field. There aren't enough mats in the world for me to want to do it. <laughs> so how much... <laughs> How do you find the time to do all of this and get school in there? And it's like it's their different seasons and uh, everything. So like it all works out. Wrestling is more like a winter sport, and cheerleading is more like a real, real summer sport, like in the summer, mm. okay. spring. And so then the film out. stuff is just all the time. No, it's only summer. Oh, okay. No, it's every Friday. So. It is no yeah. like like. Every summer or something? You do it every Friday. It's all the time. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and is that film school you were talking about? Yes. So that's all the time. It's not like a sleepaway camp or no, anything like that. No, it's every okay. Friday. She goes for two hours. Nice. Hmm. Mm -hmm. 
I want to do that. Can I go to film school with you? Probably no. <laughs> And how much film school do you do? Do you do like scripting as well? You do all of that? We like, um, we like have this little paper thing that everybody hands out. And then you write your props, you write your, like you write what you're going to do on there, what the actor's name is and everything like that. Like a storyboard. Yeah. Wow. She's better educated at this than I am. Yeah, we should get her on staff here. I know. <laughs> They, they, uh, they're learning every process of the film development from screenplays right on to the production and editing portion. Wow. They also learn the lighting, the cameras, the, the sound. So they wow. learn it all. Very cool. When you're done, you come back, you definitely got a job. Yeah, we'll, we'll, set, we'll set you up with a job. We'll get you right, right working with Kyle I'll do it. So of all of this stuff you do, what is it you want to be when you grow up? Probably like a star, Moody. Like, like a movie star? Yeah, like a movie star. Okay. So I want to do movies. So you want to be on camera? Yeah. Okay. So you want to be like an actress? Yeah. Very cool. More than being behind the camera doing the directing and stuff. You like it, but it's not your favorite. Not my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> but it is fun bossing people around. I'll be saying yes. <laughs> so here's the big Go question. There. What are your short-term goals? Do you have any special wrestling competition or trophy like you want to win? Goals, yeah. Like my goals to wrestling? Like Yeah, what's... like the next the next step in wrestling. Is there another step of when you just get older you go to a different Class? Oh, yeah, you can go to a different division. Ah, uh, division. Like, right. you have to wrestle your weight class. Yeah, that's all you do. You move up in division. If you move you, up in division. But yeah. if you're still in, like, say I'm in the 60s, which I am, um, say that I'm still there when I'm, like, nine, I don't move up. Gotcha. You stay in that division, the weight class, yeah. So it's not based on how much you know, it's based on how much you weigh? Yeah. Okay. Based on a little of both. Both, yeah. <laughs> they class it. Okay. So every age bracket and weight bracket also has a division classification like A, B, C, or D. Mm. So that would put you in the pool depending on your knowledge of the sport, how long you've been wrestling. So you're not wrestling the, the brand new kids? Right. Uh, no, that would be right, right. like a division for the new kids. Mm -hmm. But it still matters about the weight. Right. Now, I saw something your dad brought in, and I don't know where it went. Your, um, what do you call the uniform you wear? Oh, that's um, behind there. What, do you want to take it out? Where is it? Oh, we put it. Oh, there it is. Yeah, I this had a good plan just to do that. <laughs> now, what do you call this? It's what's the uniform called? It's a Lady Assassin's Jenna Zack edition, which it's um it's supposed to be a only a girl team, and we're teaming up a girl team for an all girl team, and that's why we have just a Zack edition one. We don't have any for boys. And what do you call we this, though? The, the what, is what is this called? Lady Assassin? Singlet. Singlet. Yeah, I know what it is. <laughs> That's what she's asking. <laughs> oh, I thought you meant, like, what it was well, actually called. I know it's called a onesie, so. <laughs> okay. It looks pretty scary. Yeah, I, I think I would fall down on the floor if I just saw you with it. That's its eye. Wow. That's its eye? Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, see, it's a big eye. Oh, wow. With a skull in the, in the pupil. That is scary. Yeah, that's pretty scary. Sports Addicts it actually was. sponsored her for these and, and designed them just for her. Yeah. Wow. And my brother's singlet is the same one. It's just a green and it's a boy one. Okay. Well, that is Yeah, the pink kind of gave cool. it away, made it girly. That is very cool that, that you're sponsored and they made something special just for you. Yeah. And that doesn't happen for everybody. That's really cool. So now do you get to be in like their ads and stuff? You do a pose? <laughs> no. Hands on hands on hips, you mean look? No, you Not yeah, but we're working towards that. <laughs> <laughs> we might make like um like we're gonna make a headgear for people too. Okay. Wow. 
She's but actually cool. trying to work with them in a way of making the singlets more girl oriented. Yeah, like if it doesn't like fit right on someone, mm -hmm. they we make it like more like stable. Like yeah. it helps them more. That's why they had like skinny, skinny strips like that. So that's why we made them thicker. So it's more comfortable right. and it stays in, more in coverage. Place. In, yeah, in girls' covered. areas. Right. Because yeah. <laughs> a lot of times in some of the moves, you know, hands get stuck in the material or right. or whatnot. And a lot of girls will not wear a singlet or not want to be in the sport because of what they have to wear or the positions they get put in may actually expose areas they're not comfortable. Makes you a little more exposed. supportive. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. Yeah, absolutely. That's terrific. Well, I got to thank you for coming. I mean, you have so much going on. I, it's like, like it's mind-boggling. Yeah. <laughs> I would. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you very much for coming. And we will definitely be watching your, your sports and your cheerleading and everything. I'll be looking for your movies. I definitely you. want to see you in the theater. I'll be in the front day. row. You can see the ones she's made so far on the Saratoga Film Academy's YouTube site. Okay. I'll definitely.